much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I'd like to begin by paying uh, respects to my predecessor. Uh, and uh, is, he deserves, you know, to be acknowledged, you know, as a very respect, uh, respectable person. You know, and I will use it, the, the judgment of the <clears throat> judge, who uh, passed judgment on me, you know, to make the point. In the history of uh, judgments that I know about that and I've read about, uh, I'd, I've never had a judge say that the uh, the, 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 and the accused before him uh, was guilty of an innocent mistake. I mean, innocent mistake. So, exactly, <laughs> I mean, that is self-prescriptive. You know, if the judge, not the defense counsel, it is the judge who said it was an innocent mistake. So uh, it's, some, it's, a, it's a personality that is worth, you know, uh, uh, celebrating and, and respecting. So, and I pay him, you know, that uh, obeisance. Well, you know, I'm here in uh, two capacities. As uh, first, as a well, the most important, as the DG of uh, the Director General of the Obidati Campaign, and also as a veteran journalist. So you depress men here and women. You don't have any other choice than to report me with partiality. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. Well, it is with deep sense of duty and humility that I accept my appointment as the Director General of the Obidati Presidential Campaign Council especially at this critical point in Nigeria's political history. Every ardent observer of the Nigerian political space and recent trend of events will attest to the teeming organic support, the emergence of His Excellency Peter Obi as the presidential candidate of the Labour Party has received across the country. This is undeniable a point out of the fact Nigerians have anchored their hope on the swing victory of uh, Peter Obi in the coming 2023 presidential election. My team and I hereby promise to work assiduously hard you know, to ensure uh, victory for the Obidati campaign ticket come February 2023. We are not oblivious of the magnitude of work required of us to deliver on the promise so declared. We are braced for it and equally find solace in the vanguard guardians. The counsel of our elders and the unflinching support of well-meaning Nigerians that are eager to see the Nigerian socio-economic status quo upturn and our beloved country progress like other progressing countries all over the world. I'm confident that under my leadership, the campaign will excel. Challenges will surely come, but we will surmount them as one united family. May I use this evident opportunity to encourage our supporters across the country and in the diaspora never to relent, but to continue with their support at different levels, in different quarters, and through their respective approaches. The race has not ended, obviously. The finishing line is in sight, and the prize is assured. We shall be victorious, and we shall celebrate by God's grace. I wish to appreciate the trust reposed in me by the leadership of the Labour Party and the advisory board of the Obidati presidential campaign to steer this ship even as we sail through stormy political waters. The campaign promises to continue the tradition of engaging with politics, the void of acrimony, and to always push the boundaries of issue-based campaign as we lead the advent of a new Nigerian political terrain. Thank you for the opportunity to serve. Aluta, Continue. Victoria. Thank you very much. What you should take in the context is the person making the leading the protest or whatever it is. He did it to my predecessor. If you recall his history, we are for the first time in the history of a political campaign in Nigeria. A state, a state party, actually suspended the director general. Of the, of the campaign council. <laughs> so you, know, you can see the absurdity, you know, of his, uh, the person, I understand his name is Arab Bambi, who calls himself the National Publicity Secretary of the Labour Party. You should ask him 
if, if that is how to publicize a party, I mean, it is self-contradictory, you know, and, uh, you know, first, what he is doing is pursuing, uh, you know, notoriety as a way of life. Uh, but having said that, you know, there is first and foremost, you know, le taking a legal perspective. There is no, uh, there is no bar, there is no obligation on me. I've not contravened any constitutional or legal in, in accepting the position, you know, of the DG. Neither is the our principal under duress to appoint whosoever he, wished, he wishes as director general. If you want, you can even appoint him. You can appoint uh, all the name of Obama's uh, director. He has <laughs> You can appoint the director as, his, as the director general of the campaign. It's not under duress to appoint anybody to. But let me tell you, see, that first and again, uh, when well, the question of uh, morality, right, you know, at the risk of being immodest, you know, I think I will be very, very one of the very few, you know, politicians in Nigeria who have been very, who has been very morally consistent. I'm a journalist, you know, and I write a column for newspaper. I've been writing for this day for the past uh, nine years. Anybody who has been reading my column we know that the position I am today is logically so consistent with what I have preached along the way. Yeah. So, and to tell you uh, the truth, right, I won't mention the name, but I will tell you that I was directly invited to come and lead the campaign of one of the, one of the three front line presidential candidates, and I declined. Uh, it, it was painful for me to decline, because the person in question, the presidential candidate in question, I have a very good personal relationship with him. But principles and principles, and if we are preaching, it was a test, you know, of my own uh, of my moral position. Because a man is not tested until you are confronted you know, with the challenge to which you are asked, you know, you have to respond. So, as I said, so taking this step is not the implication of saying that uh, it is morally inconsistent, it is absurd in the extreme. The position that I have taken in the past decades in Nigeria is a sacrificial position, right? I didn't make myself the DG of this campaign. I did I make myself the, 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 the Southwest coordinator of the campaign. You know, it's, it, is, it came out of a reputation, out of my own belief of what is good for Nigeria. I mean, if you, okay, let's include the co-consul. Of the four presidential candidates or presidential tickets, which one do you think? Let us speak candidly. I'm not talking about Seneca, as you say, somebody can win, somebody cannot. Which, of, which one of the four presidential candidates will you say objectively is in the interest of Nigeria? No, None of them is balanced, right? Two of them contradicts the idea of nation rule, which power rotation is expected to promote. The other one cynically, I mean, went for a I mean, the same faith ticket, Muslim, Muslim ticket. Is that in the interest of Nigeria? You know, so why should I find it difficult to now go for that? And then say that I'm, I'm, I'm being bad or, you know, uh, being drawn back by senatorial ambition that I have. I think you're fairly responsible of me. I've taken a very conspicuous public position, you know, on who should become the next president of Nigeria. It's unambiguous. I find the first anybody, well, those who have spoken to well, anybody who, if you go by that criteria of where this man has to, you know, shouldn't ask me that question, should not ask me a question about morality or where I stand. It is clear cut, it's unambiguous. Right? So 
Yeah, that is, and in any case, I don't compare myself to them. Well, the history of the Fourth Republic has been the fluidity, you know, of movement across the, ba 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 across the boundaries. Many people leave PDP today to go to APC. Uh, APC today. Many of PDP, gov elected governors of PDP, supported the APC in 2015 while they were still PDP governors. There was an extreme situation in which a sitting vice president, only elected as a PDP, took the presidential ticket of another party to protest against a, a, a government in which he was a vice president. So you see, this are the, I don't compare myself to that, but you know it is uh, it's, uh, funny when people make uh, some kind of uh, allegations. Where I am, the position that I've taken is a sacrificial position, right? To stand for what is right, you know, in essence, you know, fight, fight, you know, an intolerable, you know, status quo, it comes with a lot of sacrifice. I cannot be criticizing the government rightly, and then go ahead to plus sponsor a company to go and get a contract from them. I've already drawn the line. And the line, you know, are falling for me in pleasant places. Mm -hmm. That is why I'm here to where I am today. Mm -hmm. yeah. My name is well, you know, see, look, I've abandoned, I've abandoned the position, I've abandoned like, the pursuit of sedentary uh, candidate. That should be enough. I have no, no I have, look, the, the person who should be more believed, who should ask me that question, is the presidential, is my principal, the presidential candidate. He's the one who has what the lawyers call a local standard. And, uh, and Zenith party. I've not had anything from this. The Zenith Labour party itself has not queried me. So the two parties to, the, to, to what is happening, they are happy with, they are, you know, with it. So it is somebody Right? A, a publicity security, so to say. Now, who has found reason to, to make an issue, I mean, to continue with his, the bad reputation that he has? Uh, the answer to your simple question is I've, I've abandoned that uh, mm -hmm. uh, aspiration in pursuit of one that is of a higher moral than. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Obedience. Right. Essentially, the youth, Nigerian youth. Right. The, the future of Nigeria belongs to them. And they have chosen the candidate who best personifies that future. Right. And many of them are in the support groups. Right. Under my leadership, they are going to get the optimum, you know, maximum attention and respect that they deserve. So that's just the statement, and it very clear. Please, uh, it's a very important message that I'm passing out.